You'll plague our people at every turn. But from this day out, you shall plague us no more. Johnny, our parents these days, are they too woke? Are parents woke, Johnny? Well, I think they are, but I don't think it's a it's a recent bloody thing. I think this woke this wokeness of parenting has crept in over the decades. Till now, we've got a, a, a bloody situation where a teacher can hardly say a damn word to a kid uh, without bloody getting themselves into trouble. You want answers? In classrooms, some of the least disciplined in the world. Of course, our teachers are getting fed up. That's according to a new policy study from the OECD which lists teacher turnover and supply challenges as key difficulties for Australia's education system. It's another worrying sign that despite the billions and billions we keep throwing at education, we're still getting the basics wrong. Is it, is it, is it wokeness affecting the children's bloody uh, upbringing? You don't have to answer that question. I'll answer the question. Oh, well, Johnny, you remember years ago. You and I were at this bloody country school. <laughs> And uh, whatever the bloody teacher said, uh, that's what we did. There was no sort of uh, slanging off to the teacher or saying you can't do this or can't do that. And the teacher was confident that whatever they did, whatever they said, was not going to be questioned by bloody uh, progressive parents. Jesus Christ! Or bloody woke parents, if you like. Yeah, but we're parents in this, right? So if I'd been a kid and came home with a bad report to say, you know, Peter Crillon was disruptive in class, I'm sure I had that, uh, my dad would have come down on me like a ton of bricks. Uh, but now you hear cases where the parents front the teacher, they complain to the school, rather than sort of give their own kid a clip around, well, I can't say clip around the ears anymore, but, you know, you pull their own child in and say that's not sort of appropriate, I'm not going to tolerate that at home. How, how do you back up teachers? Because surely how teachers are treated in the classroom is part of the reason we've got this massive shortage. But Johnny, teachers in the old days, teachers just used to bloody teach and just uh, what, what they said. Yeah, but these days, if I was a teacher, I'd be shit scared what I'm saying to the kids is going to come back on me at parent-teacher night or that someone's going to turn up and ask the principal what the hell's going on. It is unfair. Teachers are pushed to the limit when they're filling the role that parents ought to be contributing to as well. I've abandoned my child! New reports out today say school teachers are quitting in record numbers with resignations doubling in just two years. Turning to the teacher crisis facing America now, staffing shortages, burnout, funding cuts and the debates over the curriculum are putting pressure on educators. Now back in the old days, Johnny, as I was saying before, back in the old days, if you had a teacher that uh, did something particularly unfair to you, that you were a bit miffed about and you went home and told your parents that such and such Mr Jones did this and did that and I, I was unfairly treated. Our parents, Johnny, would just say, oh yeah, whatever. Mr. Smith's in charge. And that was it. And that was it. Now, whether that was unfair or what, uh, that's just what was, was we were accustomed to. No good going home and telling your parents what was going on because they fully backed what the teacher was saying. Well, I remember I got the strap across me bloody hand for walking in the mud once. Yeah! <laughs> But you've got to look at the other side, Johnny, too, where the teachers, and they too woke these days, expecting this, this wonderful bloody paradise where they're instructing and, and passing on their bloody knowledge to these wonderful little students. Are they expecting it to be like that? When in reality, it's like fucking blackboard jungle. Now, I'm not saying the old style school, Johnny, was all great and wonderful and all that sort of shit, and we've got to go back to that. Because that'd be stupid. Look, don't be so fucking stupid. But uh, we've got to start giving teachers the bloody right to discipline kids, kick kids out, do all sorts of shit, and the parents have just got to bloody suck it up. Yeah, right. Right. Otherwise, you end up with an education system we've got now that's completely undermined, underpaid, the teachers are stressed, they don't want to fucking do the job. That's not a very good sign, I should say. We can't have that bullshit anymore.